Perhaps the biggest failure in my 25-year career at Entertainment Weekly is not being able to convince my co-workers that K2SO is the best droid in the history of Star Wars. I pushed, I prodded, campaigned, and cajoled. Yet when EW's list of the top 100 Star Wars characters ever was released, that damn or 2 D2 still reigned droid supreme. At least I was able to hold off C, 3PO and BB, 8. Chopper being higher, I could have begrudgingly accepted. If that was a major blow to endure, imagine my chagrin with Alan Tudyk's reprogrammed Imperial droid did not show up at all during season 1 of the Rogue One prequel series Ander. Thankfully, that unconscionable wrong will finally be righted when Ander returns for season 2 in 2025 on Disney+, Plus, and everyone's favorite, or at least my favorite, wisecracking robot will make his streaming series debut. Naturally, we had to ask Diego Luna about reuniting with his silver screen buddy. What a problem, that droid. Luna tells EW. He has no filter. He just talks and says everything he's thinking, which is precisely why we love him. But it seems Luna was just as excited for the on-screen reunion as we were, especially for the chance to once again act alongside Tudic. It was delicious to get to work with Alan again and be on the same set with him, he says. It just helps fulfill the full circle. Luna also relishes getting a chance to complete the full arc of the story with characters first introduced in the film back in 2016. You're going to see why K2 is so important in Rogue One, Luna teases, and how does he get to be such an important character for the Rebellion? Not only that, but the actor says that the final season of Ander will permanently change how people view the movie moving forward. I think people watching Rogue One, after watching season 2, are going to see a different film. Everything will be signified differently knowing what had to happen for K, 2 to be there. It's going to make you witness the journey of Rogue One in a different way, I think. And not just with K, 2, but with many other characters. I think it'll be really cool. And it seems Luna has already thought about all the marketing opportunities that could be in play as well. I'm sure someone from Lucasfilm and Disney will give us the opportunity to watch season 2 and then go straight to watch the film on a big screen with tons of popcorn and friends around. When it comes to the probability of Disney following through with such a plan to get folks handing over money to head back into theaters for a movie they have already seen multiple times, we will quote the wise philosopher K2SO himself, It's high. It's very high. Watch Luna discuss all things Ander and Rogue One in the video at the top of this article.